Priska Joseph. Dear children, we are continuing our exercise problems. Exercise 4.3. If you ever doubt yourself or feel like giving up, let this be a reminder for you. To keep doing work. Because, because sincere effort and dedication will never go unrecognized. So guys, let's start. The first question is, find the nature of roots of the following quadratic equations. If the root exists, find them. Okay. So there are three sub questions. And the first sub question is, 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So for finding the nature of roots, we have to find out the discriminant d. Okay. What is discriminant d? Which is equal to b square minus 4ac. Okay. So, based on this discriminant, we have to find out the nature of roots. Okay. So, let's find out discriminant A, which is equal to b square. b square is minus 3 square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is 5. Okay. Which is equal to 9 minus 2 times 5, 10, 10 times minus 4, minus 40. Okay. 9 minus 40 is equal to minus 31. And it is clear that it is less than, sorry, it is less than 0. Which means there is no real roots. Okay. So, in this case, there is no real answer. Okay. If the value of d less than less than 0, then we can say that there is no real roots. Okay. So, for this case, there is no real roots. Okay. Hope you understand it clearly. So, now let's start the next circuition. The second circuition is 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, we have to find out discriminant d, which is equal to b square minus for AC, which is equal to here B is minus 4 root 3, the whole square minus 4 times A is 3 and C is 4. Okay, so minus 4 square is 16, 16 into root 3 square, root 3 square is 3, 16 times 3. Okay. Minus 4 times 3 times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. So minus 48. 16 times 3 is 48. So 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. That is D is equal to 0. Which means when D is equal to 0. And if there are two equal rows. Okay. So for this case there are two equal roots exist. Okay. So now we have to find out the roots by the equation minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay. Minus b is minus of minus 4 root 3 plus or minus we get discriminant b is equal to 0 upon 2a. 2 times a is 3 is equal to 4 root 3 divided by 6. That is here it is 2 and here it is 3. Okay. Which is equal to 2 root 3 upon 3. This 2 root 3 upon 3 is equal to 2 root 3 divided by root 3 times root 3. Which means we, if we cancel like this, we get 2 upon root 3. So, the value of x is 2 upon root 3. Okay. okay. Hope it is clear for you. There are two same roots that is 2 upon root 3. So, this is the answer. Okay. Now the third one is 2x square minus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here the discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac which is equal to minus 6 all square minus 4 times 2 times 3 
which is equal to 36 minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, which is equal to uh, 12. Okay. So, so D is equal to 12. It is clear that the value of D is greater than 0. So, we can conclude that there are two real and distinct roads. Distinct roads exist. Okay. So, uh, value of D is greater than 0. So, we can conclude that there are two real and distinct roads exist for this case. Okay. So, let's find out the roads. Minus B plus or minus root of D. D means B square minus 4AC upon 2A. Which is equal to minus B is minus of minus 6 which is plus 6. Okay. Plus or minus root of 12 divided by 2 times A is 2. Okay. So, 6. First we consider uh, for the plus value or the positive value that is positive root 12 divided by 4 and this root 12 can be written as uh, the root 12 can be written as uh, 12 6 2 3 that is 2 square times 3 which is equal to 2 root 3 so 12 uh, root 12 can be written as 2 root 3 so 6 plus 2 root 3 upon 4 which is equal to we can take 2 outside. So 2 times 3 plus root 3 divided by 4. Okay. On cancellation we can write 1 by 2 into 3 plus root 3. Okay. So this is the this is one of the root and the other root can be find out like uh, 6 here the sign change that is 6 minus 2 root 3 upon 4 which is equal to 2 times 3 minus root 3 divided by 4 on cancellation we get 1 by 2 times 3 minus root 3 ok so these are two real distinct rows ok so this is the answer ok hope you understand it clearly